to our international treaties. And then the second is going to be the um, failure to comply with mandatory provisions to investigate and uh, establish jurisdiction over those that have been implicated in torture. So regarding the first issue, um, which is the, pres the power of the president, um, the Convention Against Torture, which we just heard, is the supreme law of the land under the United States Constitution. Along with the Constitution and U.S. laws, treaties are the supreme law of the land. And the Convention Against Torture states that under no ex exceptional circumstances whatsoever um, can be used to, as a justification for torture. Um, now, it seems that the United States, though, is not um, complying with that. And here, I would like to talk about a legal theory that is being espoused by certain people, um, including John Yu over at Bolt Hall and Jay Bybee, who is a justice on the Ninth Circuit. Um, John Yu has said that, and this is a quote from one of his memos, it is important to emphasize that the president can suspend or terminate any treaty or provision of a treaty. Now, John, you wrote that in a memo that has been discredited, um, but the legal theory that he espoused is still in existence. And that legal theory is being used for a variety of uh, <coughs> things that are occurring across the planet. And I haven't heard the Obama administration disavow the theory. So the theory still exists that the president, as commander-in-chief during wartime, has the power to basically order anything that he wants. That's the theory that they promote. They say that as commander-in-chief, he has this ability to order all kinds of things. And John Yu has given some pretty um, dramatic statements as to what he believes is okay that the president can uh, can authorize and can order. I don't even actually like repeating what John Yu has said, but one of the things that he has said is that the president could order a village to be massacred. So I think that's a pretty dramatic statement. Now I understand that John Yu was part of the Bush administration and the Bush administration is no longer in power. The Obama administration is in power, but the Obama administration has not disavowed this theory. In fact, in February of 2010, the Obama administration said that it would be okay that it has authorized the assassination of a United States citizen. The Obama administration has said this. This was according to the, the uh, Director of National Intelligence, Dennis C. Blair. He was testifying before Congress. Now, this person is a United States citizen, was born in New Mexico. He is living abroad, and they make the point that he's suspected of being a terrorist and is living abroad. But the legal theory that the president, as commander-in-chief, can order anything he wants does not draw a distinction between whether that person is living abroad or here in the United States. And in my opinion, it is a very short step and not a legal, no, there's no legal barrier, according to that theory, to preventing the, the, the president from saying that it would be okay to kill a United States citizen that is suspected of terrorism here in the United States. I just want to point out that the executive branch is the military and the police. And in our system of government, we have a judicial system because we, we want to have evidence and conviction. We don't allow the executive branch to simply accuse and then execute. And that's what's happening. So